Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for the wonderful thing that you have done in our life. And thank you for bringing us to this very moment. Thank you for bringing us, O oh Lord, gathering us from far and wide, O oh God, into your presence. As you have surely said that when we are two or three are gathered in your name, that we will surely be in our midst. Yes, you are in our midst this moment, and we say glory be unto your holy name. Thank you for your presence is felt. Your presence is here. We feel your presently. Yes, you feel it presently. We feel your presence with us, Lord. We say glory be unto your holy name. For wherever we gather, you are always with us. For wherever you gather, your spirit always with us. For whenever we gather, you have never in any time abandoned us. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, O Lord, for this friend. We thank you, O Lord, for the love. We thank you for your kindness. We pray, O oh Lord, say glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. In the life of our loved ones, we thank you. We thank you even for the life of our brethren far and wide. We thank you for this platform. We thank you for, for bringing the world outreach, O oh Lord, for keeping us together, for binding us together, for keeping us, O oh Lord, by your word. Because without your word, without your word, without your presence, we wouldn't have been here. We wouldn't have come out like this but your presence binded us together we say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of jesus we exalt your holy name we come into next service into your able hands say father take charge in the mighty name of jesus christ take charge in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you Abba father glory honor and adoration be unto your holy name in the mighty name of jesus amen Amen. Are you excited to be here this night? Today is the 30th of the month, 30th day in the month of September. Yes, our month of Exodus. Hallelujah. We have been guided. We have been moving from a particular location. I'm talking of a a, a, a location that was not favor, right? Uh, that was did not favor us. I'm talking of that location that was not the best for us. And God saw it and make it right and make everything right and pull us out of that very location. We say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. And God has done so well, even as we move out there from from such location on our way, he has been doing wonderfully well. He has done great and mighty things that, yes, when you look back, you will say, glory be to your holy name. And as such, tonight, he has brought us to a location where he says, he said, keep your lamp burning. Keep your lamp burning. Somebody personalize it. I will keep my lamp burning. I will not allow it to quench in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will keep my lamp burning. I will not allow it to quench in the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep my lamp burning. I will not allow it to quench in the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep my lamp burning. I will not allow it to quench in the mighty name of Jesus. What it takes to keep my lamp burning. What it takes to keep my lamp, my, my lamp burning. I will not by any way. I would not do, I would not either by omission or by intention or allowed it, allowed my oil to run dry in order to allow my lamp to, to quench. I would not allow the, the oil in my lamp to run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. As you personalize it, so shall it be for you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I say, as you declare it, that you will not allow, that you will not allow your lamp to be quenched, I decree upon you that so it will be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the area that you, your lamp, you know, our lamp, ever since we have left the land, the land of Egypt, after we have God has declared that it is our month of Exodus, 
That definitely means that we do what? We migrated, we move out. You know, we move out from where? From the land where we were afflicted, from the land where there was pain, from the land where there was sorrow, from the land where there was gnashing of teeth, from the land where we were being tormented. Hey, and we God take us to where? To our promised land. Amen. So on our way to the promised land, what happened? God gave us what we needed to carry along. Hallelujah. Just yesterday, a woman of God was here and she taught us, she brought to us that God has not just given us water, but he has given us well. Hallelujah. I know with this, many people will say, I have gotten enough. I have gotten enough. Amen. You, you have gotten enough because in this prayer, in this month, you know, this month we have gotten enough because out of these waters, out of these waters, we were able to do what? To, 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 the water in us was able to do what? To flow out. Amen. Because we have gotten enough. When you have enough, that's where you can do what? That, that's when you can give out. Amen. Hallelujah. So we had enough, and that's where we were able to pour it out. Amen. And tonight, you know, at the course of our end of the month fasting and prayer, we have gotten enough. Yes, as I said, he said, we have received enough to say, let's sit back, relax, enjoy. How many of us have said, or how many of us out there are saying, we have gotten enough? Because we have gotten enough water, we have gotten enough blessings, we have gotten enough magnificent love of God, we have gotten so much that it is time for me to relax, that it is time for me to, to just ignore my alarm. Because that's what it means. Because when you decided to relax, everything about you will just remain as it is. Instead of adding, it will be subtracting because you will be eating deep into such into what you have already received. Amen. So the magnificent love of God, who, ha, who, he, who has been with us, the, the world, the water, the spring, the river, the sea of living waters. Perhaps you are saying, I have enough. Perhaps you are saying this moment, I have prayed enough. God has answered my prayer. So I've gotten enough. I want us to look, to open our Bible to Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12. Yes. When you, when you go to Luke chapter 12, if you look deep in that very place from verse 16, you will see the parable that Jesus gave to his disciples. Yes. It is not time for you to conclude yet that it is time for you to rest. Yes. It is not yet for you to conclude simply because God has given you all these things in this month and for you to conclude that it is time for you to, to rest. Amen. So it is time for you to even do what? To add more oil in your lamp so that it will continue to burn. Somebody say, I will add more oil in my lamp so that it will continue to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. I will add more oil in my lamp so that it will continue to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I will keep my lamp burning. I will keep my lamp burning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, if you look in that, if you open your Bible to that Luke chapter 16, you will see when the rich man said, I will pull down my bands simply because he has planted enough, simply because he has planted and he has harvested enough and his harvest has filled up his barn that he has already, that he had or he has built preciously or that what he had at that particular time. So he decided, he said, I will pull down my barns and build crater and build crater, a crater barn and there I will store 
I will store my crops and my goods. Perhaps you have said, I have stored enough. Perhaps you are saying, I have stored enough. I have built enough. So it is time for me to have stored. And he said what? Listen to what the rich man, the, 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 this rich man has said. He said, and I will say to my soul, soul, listen. He said, I will say to my soul. And after saying that, he pronounced it. He says, my soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Amen. Take your ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. Listen, child of God. Perhaps you have said, I've prayed enough that it is time for me to do what to ease, to be at ease. It is time for me to eat. I have fasted long enough. It's two days not okay. God's supposed to have answered. God has seen my heart. That day, a day or two days is okay for me. And perhaps you are saying that, that okay, let me just ease myself. Let me go and begin to eat. Listen to this. Just as the rich man said, he said, ease my soul. Take your ease. Take your rest. Eat, drink, and be buried. And listen to what God said. He said, but God said to him, fool. But God said to him, fool, you will not be a fool in the mighty name of Jesus I said, you will not be counted among fools in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be counted among fools in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when it was time, when it is time that your lamb is supposed to be born in and you decided to be at rest, you have already done what? You have already counted yourself among the fools. But today, by the reason of this word, you will not allow yourself to, be, to sleep into such category where you will be counted among the fools in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because at that point, because even as we have already taken the well of living waters, rivers of living waters, even as it has already flowing, many of us, we have not seen the manifestation of this well physically. But spiritually, we have already received it. But physically, it is yet to manifest. Or perhaps for some people, it has already been manifesting. And you and, and you have seen that you decided to to know to, to, to take ease to to take rest you know you decided to take to, to begin to drink you decided to eat you decided to marry and do all those sort of things that does not bring glory to god i am here to tell you that it is not yet time somebody say it is not yet time it is not yet time it is not yet time. He said, for all these things, listen, the man didn't have encounter with God. No, he has these physical things. He didn't have that special encounter. None of his treasure was about, were, were recorded. The Bible did not record it, that his treasure was directed to the building of the kingdom of God. But all what was heard about him was me, was I. I will have to take rest. I will take rest. He was talking about all about, it was all about himself. Listen, for all these things, God doesn't know, God does not mean that you will not have plenty. Yes, God doesn't mean, God does not say that you will not have plenty. Because if you open your Bible to that, Luke, Luke chapter 12, listed in the, God says, for all these things, if you read to verse 30, it will tell you that for all these things, the nations of the world seek after. He said, and your father knows that you need these things. God knows that you need this thing. So God has never at any time says that you will remain poor. Amen. That's why he told his disciples in verse 22. In verse 22 he said, then he said to his disciples, he said, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food. Life is more than food. Somebody said to yourself, life is more than food. Life is more than food. But I think you are among the people 
that said I will not be able to, fight, to fast because I have cut it enough. I am here to tell you that life is more than food. Life is not all about what you are seeing. Life is not what about you have at the moment. Life is not what about you have inherited. Life is not what you have possessed. Life is not about wealth. Life is more than food. Life is more than food. So when they ask you to come and fast, and, and you are saying, I have fasted last month, and I'm here this time again, fasting, and they are saying fasting, they are calling for fasting. And I thank woman of God because he has able to do what? To teach us the true fasting, the true fasting. Why? Why? God in his individual mercy did what? He gave us the understanding, you know, to bring it to us bit by bit so that we would not miss anything. That when you are fasting, you will be able to break the joke, the cord of affliction, the cord of affliction, the cord that the enemy is using to drag, to torment you, to manipulate you. That while you are fasting, you will be able to break all those cords. Thank you, woman of God, for this spe that special message. It is still, and it is still working for those that are hacking to those messages. I say thank you, and God will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So it says that God understands all these things. You know what I say? Keep your lamp burning. Many of you will say, how? Huh? You keep your lamp burning by putting on, you know, by putting on, by putting all your heart in doing what you are doing. And what is that? It's not the negative thing that does not bring glory to God. Because when I say, well, do what you are doing, you will not say, okay, I have been drinking, I have been eating, so let me continue to be eating. No, that is not what I mean. You have been fasting and praying to God. Yes, keep on doing it. Because as you are doing so, your fire is added. You know, your fire is burning the flesh of your lamb, you know, it's growing bigger and bigger. The flame of your lamb, can, nobody can quench it. The enemy itself cannot quench it. It cannot pull it down. Somebody declare, I will keep my lamp burning. I will keep my lamp burning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. He said, for all these things, he knows. I'm going somewhere, I'm ready somewhere. In first 30, what is it? But seek, but seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. I decree unto you tonight that as you keep on seeking the, the kingdom of God, that all your heart desire, all your heart desire will be added unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. What are those things that the nations of the world are looking for? God says that he knows that you need all these things too. Yes. People out there, they are looking for the best phone. Yes, are you not looking for the best phone? God knows that you need it. But seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these material things will be added unto you. Amen. You, need, you don't need to worry about them. It will surely come. Yes, it will surely come. So verse 32 says, he said, do not fear. Tonight, I'm here to encourage you, do not fear. Even as we are crossing to the month of October, do not fear. He said, do not fear, little folks, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is God's, it is, you know, it is God, it is the father's pleasure to do us, to give us the kingdom. I say that kingdom that you have been struggling for, nothing will make you, you will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miss the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miss the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So sell what you have and give arms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old a treasure in the heaven that does not fail, where no thieves approaches nor moth destroy. Amen. It's a sales. What you have. It does not mean, it says sell what you have and give arms. It does not mean that you have to sell everything and become poor. 
That is not what Jesus Christ was teaching in that very place. You know, many people will interpret it that Jesus was saying, sell everything. And, and as such, they will say, ah, how will I sell what belongs to me? No, Jesus didn't say you sell everything that you have and become poor. But he was talking of the gift that you will give willingly, you know, you will give willingly, not the one that you are giving and expecting something in return. That was what Jesus Christ was talking about. He said, sell and give arms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old. And where can you find something that will not grow old? Where can you find something that will not grow old? If you buy a material bag, it will definitely grow old. For those who are using, who are, you know, those who are fashion, you know, those that are really understand that goes into the into fashion, they understand that the certain bags will come out, especially the women folk. In the women folk, when, they, when a particular bag pops up, comes out, before you know it, that bag will now do what? It will become old because a new one will do what will, will surface. So where can you get something that will not grow old? It is only in the hand of God. Amen. So when you have the word, what will never grow old? When you have the word, the word will never grow old. Amen. Somebody say, if I have the word of God, it will never grow old in my hand, in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the word of God will never grow old. As the power of God, of God has, has it ever grow old? No. The Bible made us to understand that it is the same God of yesterday, and it remains the same today, and it will remain the same forever. Amen. So where can you get something that will not grow old? It is in the hand of the Lord. And as you hack it to this world and seek ye the kingdom of God, you will find that which will not grow old, which will keep you, which will guide you, which will take you to your promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. In that place, thief will not be able to approach. Can a thief Thief, the word of God from your heart. No thief can steal it. A thief cannot steal the word from your heart. Amen. <laughs> A thief cannot steal it. No matter, no matter how intelligent it is. No matter how intelligent that thief is, he will not be able to thief the word that you have in your life. He will not be able to steal it. The power of God, no one can will be able to steal it. Even more, the canker worm, they will not be able to destroy it. Amen. If you have the true word of God, no matter what you are hearing out there, it will not corrupt your mind. And I pray for you and I today that whatsoever corrupt people that cause people to sleep, that cause people to fall, it will not corrupt you in the mighty name of Jesus. With this word, you will be able to keep your lamp burning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Imagine you are going on a journey and you have your lamp. You are going out there in the night. You have your lamp that will, you know, that will illuminate the path, that will illuminate your path. And suddenly the light gone deep, goes deep. Dim, begin, begin to dim, begin to dim. And at a point, it, did, it, it goes off. That means you will not be able to continue your journey. You will be stuck somewhere. That's why you need to keep your lamp burning so that you will not be able, nothing will keep you, nothing will hold you bound, nothing will be able to obstruct you from going to where you are heading to in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody declare, I know where I am heading to. I'm heading to my promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, for where your treasure is, there your heart will all will be also. Amen. If you were walking towards building the kingdom of God, that is where your treasure is, and that is where your heart will be also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's why many people, they think about, God, the woman of God has done so much. He has been able to let us understand that you're just thinking about 
just thinking about the bakers out there and forgetting the, the kingdom of God, the house of God, that you are not doing yourself any, any, any good. Imagine you, you just thinking about the poor, the poor, the poor always, and you forget about the kingdom of God. The Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto you. Imagine you, you forget, forgetting about, you are forgetting about the, 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 the good things in the house of the Lord. You are forgetting about are supporting the kingdom of God, supporting in building the kingdom of God. And what will happen? Where will your heart be? Where will your treasure be? Your treasure is with who? It's with the poor, it's with the less privileged, and that's where your heart is, will be. Amen. That's what the scripture is saying. That's where your treasure is, is where your heart will be as well. Amen. Your treasure will not remain only in the heart of those less privileged. It will not remain only in the hands of the baker in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not remain only in the hands of the poor because the poor, when you give to the poor, what are you saying? You are telling the poor to come out from poverty and become rich. Amen. You are telling the poor to come out. So you cannot send the poor man out of poverty and you yourself goes into poverty. Somebody said it is an error. It is an error. And I will not do it in the mighty name of Jesus. So first, that is, it says, it says, and you yourself and you yourself be like men. He says what he say you should be like men. Be like men who wait for their master. Be like men who wait for their master. Be like men who wait for their master. When he will return where, from the wedding that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Amen. Be like men who wait for their master. That's why we tarry here. That's why we tarry here. That's why I say you should not get tired. That's why the scripture says you should not just tell your soul, relax, rest. That's why you need to tarry. He said you need to be like men. You need to be like men who wait for their master to show up. Where did the master go to? The master that went for a wedding. Mm, a wedding. And you know, while I was reading this uh, the, the, this passage, I, I told mama, I said, do you know that it was not today that when, that when somebody, somebody goes to the wedding, he has to return home with something, with goodies. He has to return home with something. If you go to a wedding and return empty-handed, that wedding was not proper. <laughs> oh, it's good to look into the scripture. That's why if you are doing wedding, you make sure that you give somebody something to go home with. Amen. And somebody will tell you that wedding, wedding is out of scripture. But here I'm telling you that when a master went for wedding, you should be like men that wait for the master who went for a wedding party. Yes. That when he comes and knock, they may open to him immediately. I pray for you and I that we will not sleep when the masters knock in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not sleep out when the master is knocking in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be hiding somewhere when the master returns in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be in a different location where master return with goodies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And listen, listen to verse 35. He said, blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. As shortly, I said to you that he will guide himself and have them sit down to eat. Amen. What is, and will come and serve them. This is what the master will do. For those who have been waiting, who has been watching, he will do what? He will come in, he will come in. When he knocks, you will open. When he knocks on your heart, he will find you worthy and he will come in. Your heart will not be filled with tongues that he will not be able to come into your life. Your life will not be so 
impure that God will not be able to associate at that moment with you. Amen. He said, blessed are those servants whom the, whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. As surely I say to you that he will guide himself and have them sit down to eat. What does this place mean? He said, when he returns, he will open his bags and he will tell them, sit, let us eat. Somebody said, party after party. <laughs> so when it, 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 it's not just about today, this has already been existing. I'm oh, Kaliba Kasi Kayata on that wedding that is coming, that on that wedding that that your wedding that is coming, eh, Sakayata, you will have something to give your guests to return home with in the mighty name of Jesus. I was a bad movie and God. In the, the spirit of the Lord, you know, pause me and ask me to declare, make this declaration to someone here. He said, on your forthcoming wedding, hey, they will not just come and drink water and go back. God will provide for you to supply your guests enough that they will go home with in the mighty name of Jesus. If that is if that forthcoming wedding is your wedding, wherever you are, I want you to shout hallelujah. Hey, Salah Kayata, if it is your forthcoming wedding, I want you to seal it with a louder amen. Makasi Kayata, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said he will sit down with them and he will eat with them. We have been here. We have been fasting. We have been praying. Let nothing take you out. Faithfully, they have been watching, waiting for the master to return. As woman of God declare, he said, neither was just about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. As you stay, as you fast faithfully, as you remain, it will not be in vain. For the master is coming, for the master will show them. And when he meets you at this point, when he meets you, we're still watching, still fasting, still praying, still asking king still in his presence he will do what he will open his treasure and he will have you to sit down as anybody who sit ever been in discomfort no when god asks you to sit down that means he's putting you in a place of comfort i see god taking someone here to a place of comfort in the mighty name of Jesus, I see God taking you from here to a place of comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone declare, say, that is me. That is me. God is taking me from that place of thorns, from that place of sorrow to a place of comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are the one, seal it with amen. Seal it with amen. Seal it with three amen, three times. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. He said he will, he will ask them to sit down. He will tell them, sit down. Imagine the master asking his servant to sit down. You know what it means. And he will bring out the goodies. He will bring out the good things. He will bring out those normal good things. Those delicious things. Oh, Salida Bakasi Kareata Hayata. Mahasi Kalabakasi Atariana Haya. Liba Kasi Rakasi Takadanda Nakayata. God is bringing out delicious, something delicious, delicious for someone here tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Something delicious in the mighty name of Jesus. What God has prepared for you in the month of September. Listening and listening well. Mm. Even at this very moment, the door 
of your blessings in the month of September is still open. God, because you have been waiting, because you have been waiting, God is asking you to move in, begin to shop it, begin to shop it out. Move in into this shop, move into this mall, move into this mall of September. I say someone move in to the mall of September. Do not worry whether it was a diamond, whether it was about to be closed, whether it was about to be closed, but the door of the mall of September is open for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the mall for the goodies of the month of September is open for you and I. Move in and begin to do the shopping. I'm talking of the shopping that you don't have to pay. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Open your mouth and begin to declare, I move in into the mall of September and I'm shopping and begin to shop. Those things that you desire, begin to shop them, begin to pack them, begin to pick them. I said begin to shop them because God intentionally opened wide the mall of September at at this very moment, for you and I to do what? To do that shopping, open in. It has been open. It has been open for you. It has been open for you. Enter. Begin to enter. Enter and begin to do that shopping. Enter and begin to do that shopping. Begin to shop. Begin to shop. Begin to pick it. What the kasu kariata? Exikala pakanda yada. Zekaria kayata. Exikala kayata. As you pick them, they belong to you. No one can take it away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, someone with little faith. Mm. Someone with little faith. Hey, say something that I couldn't pick. Something that I couldn't achieve from the beginning of the month of September. Is it this last moment? Is it this last minute that I will be able to carry it? Is there anything too difficult for God to do? You are saying that it's too big for me to carry it at this wee hour. But God is saying that it is possible because with God, all things are possible. Open the gate of the mall of September has been opened wide. So it doesn't matter whether you didn't take it, whether you didn't receive it, but whatsoever you desire in the month of September, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus because the month of September will not go with your blessings. I say it will not go with your blessings. It will not go with your blessings. I enter and I receive and I receive it. Now, you don't just need to wait for somebody to come and give it to you begin to pick them begin to take them begin to cutter them begin to cutter them you know when you are going for shopping you don't wait for the store for the store attendant to come and you know to come and give it to you you do what you pick it by yourself somebody say i'm picking it by myself i'm picking it by myself you know what you are picking that your heart desire Open your mouth and begin to take them. Eka suka li kasi kayata. Raka se keria kashi kayata. La hasika la pakayata. Good health that you were seeking for. I said, take it. Good health that you were seeking for. I said, take it. Good health that you are you have been seeking for. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. New status in your finances that you have been seeking for. I said, receive it in the mighty name of take it, take it. Take it, take it. I said, take it. They all belongs to you. They are all available. I said, take it in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Eshatakayada. Husband that you have been expecting. Husband that you have been believing God for. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, take it. Take it. Take it. Eshataka sikayata. That document that you have been expecting. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. For the month of September will not go with it. And someone is asking me, say, how will this come about? Because I just have a few hours for this month to run off. 
that is not me. But God says you should take it. God says you should take it. If God says you should take it, then what is your own business? What is your own concern about the time? What is your own concern about the time? Go ahead and take it. Go ahead and take it. Go ahead and take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and take it in the mighty name of Jesus. That dream job that you have been expecting. Go ahead and take it. The promotion you have been expecting. Go ahead and take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. La de baka sukayata. Li maka sandariata yada. He said he will sat, he will sit down. He will ask them to sit down to eat and will come and serve them. For what you did not expect, the Lord will serve you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will serve you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm talking to those issues that you did not expect. You did not see them coming. The Lord will serve you. The Lord will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, but know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief will come, he will have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Amen. For those who are staying, who said that they need to relax, I need to stop this fast. I will not be able to continue. Listen to this, that a man, a man, if he knew the hour that the thief will show up in his house, he will not be asleep at that moment. He will not be asleep at that moment. He will do what? He will sit. The scripture says, it says he will have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready for the son of man for the son of man is coming at an hour is coming at an hour you do not expect amen is coming at an hour you do not expect as you wait as you wait as you wait for the lord this time you will not go empty handed as he is coming he will meet you waiting in the mighty name of Jesus. He will meet you waiting in the mighty name of Jesus. He will meet you waiting in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For I will keep my lamp burning and waiting and be watchful for the master's return, for the hour that the master will show up, for the hour that the master will show up, for the master, for the master to show up so that I will not, my waiting will not be in vain. So that those hours, those periods, those days that I've been waiting will not be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. As the master come, the hour come, you will not be exceptionally ignored, but you will be exceptionally favored in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be exceptionally favored in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, because God has already given you what you have been expecting. That's why as you are waiting, you are not waiting in vain. For you will be exceptionally favored in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I will be exceptionally favored. I'm personalize it and say it this way. I am exceptionally favored by God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I want you to understand this, that God has already given it to you. The month of Exodus has come, and he has migrated us from that very month of Exodus. We are entering into the land that God has already given to us. Amen. So as you were watchful, waiting for the master's arrival, he has come with what he has planned for you and he has already released it unto you. Somebody said, I have received it. I have received it. Rivers of living waters flow through me, flow through me. Rivers of abundance, 
rivers of blessings, rivers of upliftment, rivers of healing, rivers of excellent work is flowing in me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. In Numbers chapter 33, yes, number, Numbers chapter 33, first, verse 53, yes, verse 53. God let us to understand. If you read at the down part of it, he said, I have given you. Let me read from verse, from verse 53. He said, you shall dispose the in inhabitant of the land and dwell in it for I have given you the land to possess. Amen. For I have given you the land to possess. I want to pause here and welcome you to the month of October. It is your month of possession. It is your month of possessing your possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is your month of possessing your possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I want to read from verse 50 down again so that you will understand. He said, now the Lord spoke to Moses in the plain of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho saying, he says, speak to the children of Israel and say to them, when you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall do what? You shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Amen. You didn't get it. From the month of Exodus, moving out. To where? To the land that God has already prepared for you and I. And listening and listening well. In that land that God has already given to you, there are some inhabitants. And listen to what the instruction. This is the instruction in the month of October that God has given unto you. It says what? It says, as you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, where is the land of Canaan? The land of Canaan is that land that is flowing with milk and honey. It is the promised land. Yes. It said, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Destroy all their engraved stones. Destroy all their molded images. And demolish all their high places. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready tonight? That as you are crossing into the land, into the land that God has already given to you, you will do the needful. Somebody say, I will do the needful. I will do the needful concerning the land that God has given unto me, concerning the blessings that God has blessed me with, concerning the blessings that God has blessed me with. I will do the needful. I will do the needful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are coming back to this first 52. To do what? To destroy and demolish. Somebody said destroy and demolish. Destroy and demolish. Destroy and demolish. You will destroy them. You will destroy them and demolish them in the mighty name of Jesus. So that brought, that brought us to brings us to verse 53, who says, he said, you shall dispose, dispose the inhabitant of the land and dwell in it. Somebody say, I will dwell in it. For I have given you the land to possess. Somebody say, I will possess my possession. Amen. 
I will possess my possession. I will possess my possession. For God has released, God has released my possession to me already. So I'm here to possess my possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know one good thing about the month of October? The month of October comes with order. It comes with authority. Towards who? Towards the illegal occupant of my blessings. Towards illegal occupant possessing my possession. There is an order. What is the order? The order is for you to drive them out. Are you ready to drive them out tonight? Are you ready to drive them out of your land? Are you ready to drive them out from your life? Are you ready to drive them out from your destiny? Are you ready to drive them out? Somebody declare the month of October is my month of possessing my possession. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. You have come this far to the Jordan and you are crossing it to the Kenna and the other. Listen, when there is illegal occupant in a building, in a house, what normally happen? The real, the real owner of the house will do what? Will go to court and obtain what? Court order. To do what? To effect. To do what? To send those illegal occupants out of the house. The court will give him court order. What is court order? So when the people come, even if they throw everything, they throw the thing, the thing spoil, they don't have, there is no, no, no law will hold them back because there is an order. You didn't get it. So when you throw them out, whether what you are throwing gets spoiled, whether you destroy them, whether you demolish them, there is no offense in it because you have already obtained order. In the month of October, God has given you an order. Order to destroy. Order to demolish. The whatsoever that is not of God in your life. Order to destroy. Order to demolish. Whatsoever that is not of God in your life. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the ability to keep my lamp burning for me to be able to move from that land of affliction to my Canaan land. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this order that you have given to me concerning the month of October to destroy and to demolish whatsoever is not of God in my life. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and begin to thank God for this order. This order is greater than any court order. It's greater than any court order in the land. The order that you are able to destroy, the order that empower you to quit, to send the illegal occupant, illegal occupant that has penetrated, that has been dwelling in your own portion, in your own land that God has designed for you. I said today, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for giving me this order. Thank you for giving me this order. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to thank him for this special order. Father, I thank you. Rakasi kayata, e la brakasi kayata, li kasinderi kataya, li kasuka rikasi kayata.
yata e kala pakaria kasita yata e sika la yata raka sika yata thank you father thank you blessed redeemer in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ he said then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you open your mouth and begin to drive you have the order you have the authority to drive them out whatsoever that the enemy has projected into your life projected to destroy your destiny projected to cause sickness in your life drive them out you have the order i say you have the order Children of God, you have the order. You have the order. The order is with you. Make use of this order right now. Make use of this order today. Make use of this order in the mighty name of Jesus. Make use of this order right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to make use of that order. I drive you out. I drive you out. Be it poverty, be it sickness, be it stagnation, be it retrogression, be it shame, be it sorrow. Drive them out. I drive you out. I drive you out. Rising and falling. I drive you out. Rejection. I drive you out. Poverty. I drive you out. Sickness. I drive you out. I shall tire. I call a kayada. Raka se teke te. Rebaba. Zala kaya. Rapa kaya. Zeda kaya. Zeka taya. Keep driving them out. I say keep driving them out. Keep driving them out. Shataya da kayata. Raka se kayata. Ek shata kata kaya. Rapa da ba da ba. Drive them out. Drive them out. Drive them out, drive them out, drive them out. Sickness, terminal diseases, whatsoever them, they have given to it. I said, drive them out. That negative doctor's report that you have been holding, I said, drive them out, drive it 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 out. Drive it out. That, 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 that they have projected into your life that they have projected into your destiny, that is causing that rejection, is causing that that, that, that whatsoever you try to scatter will scatter. I said, drive it out, 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 drive it out. In the mighty name of Jesus, drive them out. In the mighty name of Jesus, any demonic power that is operating in your life, causing rejection, causing retrogression, causing stagnation, causing singlehood, causing Radabaya, Zadakayata, Rakadabakayata, whatsoever it has been doing, it is occupying that place illegally. I said, drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to pray this prayer. Whosoever is holding on to my blessing illegally, I drive you out. I command you. I say out in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever in the name of relationship is holding your husband hostage. I drive that woman out because it's holding your woman illegal. It's holding your husband illegally. And it's holding that your wife that you're supposed to get married to illegally in the name of one relationship. I drive you out from that relationship. I drive you out from that relationship. Whosoever is holding your helper, is holding your helper illegally is occupying the life of your helper illegally that is causing your helper to look otherwise to look the other way i drive you out i drive you out i drive you out in the mighty name of jesus pray children of god pray for the month of october god has already given you the land 
but there are some inhabitants of this land. There are some people occupying this land. There are some people occupying this land. Oh, drive them out. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the month of October, in the month of October, the blessings that God has for you in the month of October, I said, drive them out. Drive the in illegal occupant in that your blessings in the month of October. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them out, out of my October, out of my month, out of my month, out of my month, out of my month. I say, out of my life, out of my life, in this month of October, in this month of October, whosoever that has occupied it illegally, I drive you out, for it is my month to possess my possession, so you cannot stay. I drive you out. You demonic agent, you demonic agent, occupying my month, occupying that month of October illegally. I drive you out on every single day of the month of October. I drive you out in the mighty name of Jesus. I drive you out in the mighty name of Jesus. I drive you out in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Mm. He's saying, for I have given you the land to possess. What God has given you to possess, who will then turn around to say it otherwise? God has already given you the land to possess. Therefore, go ahead and possess it. Open your mouth and begin to declare, I possess the land of my blessings in this month of October. In the mighty name of Jesus, I possess my blessings, my blessings that God has already given to me. I possess them in the mighty name of Jesus. I possess them. I possess the land. The land flowing up will be cut honey. I possess them in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of October, I possess my possession in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of October, I possess my possession in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of October, I possess what God has already given to me. I possess what God has already given to me. I possess the land that God has already given to me in the mighty name of Jesus. I possess, I possess the land. I possess the land that God has already given to me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I possess my blessings from the first of October to the end of October to 31st of October. I possess all the blessings that the Lord has given to me in every day of October, in every day in the month of October. I possess them, I possess them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Listen, you, that when I say you should chase them out and you are keeping quiet. Now, we want to enter the land and destroy all their molded images and demolish all their high places. Amen. Listen to what verse 44 is, verse 54 is saying. He said, and you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your families. Amen. To the larger, you shall give a larger inheritance. And to the smaller, you shall give a smaller inheritance. There, everyone's inheritance shall be whatever 
falls to him by lot. You shall inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. Amen. You shall inherit according to the tribes of your father. I'm here in verse 55. This verse 55 got me interested. It is very, very interesting here. He said, but if you do not drive out the inhabitant of the land from before you, listen, listen. He says, but if you do not drive out the inhabitant of the land from before you, you that, that wants to be do, become Mr. Do Good, that you want to do good to the inhabitant, to those that inhabited the, 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 the land that God has given unto you. And God is telling you to drive them out. And you want to do like Saul. You want to keep them because they are beautiful. You want to keep them because they are you know, they are, they are beautiful in, in, in looking. You want to keep them because in, in height, they are lovely in looking. Listen to what will happen. He said, but if you do not drive out the inhabitant of the land from before you, he said, then it shall be that those whom you let remain, those who you do what, who you let remain, perhaps it is the one that you're supposed to pull out from your life. It, perhaps it is someone that you're supposed to cut off from your life or you are going to a place. You have been employed to a new company and you now found out that there's a particular people that you don't supposed to mingle with. Cut off with them. Do not mingle with them. Yes, there are certain people in your life that you need to cut off. When, when Abraham, before Abraham was able to assess the land, it was when he do away with Lot. Amen. He said, then it shall be that those who you let remain shall be ir irritant in your eyes and thorns in your sight and they shall harass you in the land where you dwell. Did you hear that? Imagine you, God bringing you out from the land of land of Egypt, land of slavery, is bringing you out to the promised land. And before getting to the, to the promised land, there are some illegal occupants in that land. And what happened? And God is giving you instruction. He's giving you an order to do what? To drive them out. And you decided to keep some of the people. And God is telling you, God is telling you exactly what will happen. God is telling you what will happen to you, not to any other person. Let me read it from a uh, good news translation so that from verse 55 again. He said, but if you do not drive out the inhabitant of the land, those that left, will be as troublesome as splinters in your eyes and thorns in your side, and they will fight against you. They will do what? They will fight against you. So when I tell you to drive them out and you are doing as if uh, I'm telling you to come and eat uh, sushi, there are a lot of people that love shishi, but there are a lot of people that doesn't love. When they see it, they will do their face somehow. Because sushi is not cooked, it's fresh fish. They just slice it and put on top of the rice. It's delicious. I've eaten it. It's Japanese meal. One of their before right? Anyway, but foreigners doesn't love it. But when I ask you to drive them out, don't do your face as if they ask you to eat shishi for the first time. Amen. And he says, he said, these people will rise up to fight you. Imagine in your own land. You, you see, listen, let me make you to understand. 
They have already divided the land. Mama, you understand this? The portion has already been divided. Just that what comes to you will be your own. So if you, if you decide illegal occupants to dwell in your own portion, that is your own case because they will do what they will rise up to fight you. In my own portion, if I allow them to dwell, it's me that they will fight. They will not come and fight you. So what will happen? I will drive the ones that occupies in my own land. So you do well to drive the ones that occupies your own land because the order and the authority has already been given unto us. So make good use of this order. It is God's order. It's not an ordinary order. If people can obey the order that comes from the court of the land, how much more the order of God? Who will not obey? Use the order. It is authority. It is an order that is bound to obey. People are bound, they are bound to obey. There is no way out. So you have to do what? You have to drive them out. Because if you don't drive them out, they will become troublesome. As splinters in your eyes and, and, and thorns in your side. And they will fight against you. They will not let you drink water and drop cup as they used to say. Verse 56, if you do not drive them out, listen to what God is saying. This one, even this one. <laughs> listen to what God is saying. If you do not drive them out, I will destroy you as I plan to destroy them. So when the destruction comes, because God doesn't want them to dwell. So you need to be careful when you alert on certain things to dwell with you in this land of promise. When you alert illegality to become the life of the day in this land of promise. Be careful. Somebody said, I will be careful. I will be very careful. Oh, yes. So let's go back to the land now. You have understand, you have a clear view of how the land is. And you have a clear understanding of what it takes if you keep them. You have a clear understanding. You, you know the, the repercussion of allowing these evil men to dwell among you. You know the repercussion of keeping this illegality, trying to make illegality legal. They will rise up to fight you. They will destroy you. They will become a thorns by your side. Father, help your people. Help your children. Help your children in the mighty name of Jesus. You see how beautiful the month of October is. That God is giving you an order. is giving you an authority to execute. To set out every illegality around you. To set out every negative things around you, to cut them off, to destroy them. Let's go back to the land because these people, these illegal people, they have molded certain things on that land. Verse 52, they have molded certain stones. They have engraved stones which we have to destroy. They have molded images which we have to destroy. And they have created high places, which we have to demolish. Amen. So I want us to go into prayer at this moment with the order in our hand. With the order in our hand. Amen. Amen. Hmm. 
Somebody say, I'm going with the order of God in my hand to execute judgment, to execute judgment upon those that occupied my place illegally in the mighty name of Jesus. I will destroy them. I will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. So open your mouth and begin to declare, say, my father, my father, whosoever that has occupied my land illegally, whosoever that has occupied my land illegally and engraved stones today, I destroy them. I destroy them. I destroy them. Begin to destroy those stones, those graven images that they have they have engraved in your own land. Begin to destroy them. Begin to destroy them. I destroy every engraved stones from the illegal occupant of my land. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy, I destroy every molded images that the enemy has molded in my land. I destroy them. Bashatakataya, whatsoever the enemy has put, whatsoever the enemy has molded, whatsoever the enemy has engraved in your life, in your destiny that is not of God, be destroyed, 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 be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 whatsoever illegal occupant, any enemy, any strong man, the one I know, the one I do not know, has put in place, has molded in my life to stand as a stumbling block that has molded to bring wrath of God in my life, upon my life. I said today, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every hand walk of the enemy in my life, be destroyed. Pray every hand walk of the enemy in my life, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy, I destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every handwork of the enemy in my life. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus by the power, by the authority, by the order from the Lord God Almighty in my hand. I destroy them. I destroy them. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. As I send them out, I destroy their works. As I descend them out, I destroy their works. As I, I send them out, I destroy their works. They are illegal images, their illegal things, everything in all illegality that comes with them, be it sickness, be it poverty, be it stagnation, be it rejection, be it retrogression, be it rising and falling, be it sinkhole, be it be it barrenness, be it poverty, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy them, 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 I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I possess my possession. I possess my possession. And whatsoever. Every high places that the enemy has created, I demolish them. I demolish them. Begin to demolish those high places that the enemy has created in your life. The enemy has created in your destiny. Every high places, every high place that the enemy has created in my life, in my destiny, in my ministry, in my career, in my marriage, I demolish them. I demolish them. I demolish them. Be demolished. I demolish them now. I demolish them today. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Lakasikayata. Rakasikayata. As I drive them out, as I drive all of them out in my life, I destroy the works, their works. I demolish all their high places 
in the mighty name of Jesus. As I drive them out from my month of October, I destroy all their images that bring destruction, all their craving images that brought about sickness that will bring whatsoever that I do not care to know. I destroy them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Those images that, that stands to bring bad things in our life, we destroy them. They are called those they are because they are not serving a true God. So those they are called, those they are craving images, those they are handmade gods, I destroy them. In the month of October, every handmade god from the enemy, every evil shrine, all the every evil altars, I destroy them. I destroy them. I demolish them. Begin to demolish those evil altars. Whosoever that has created evil altar in your life, whosoever that created evil shrine in your life, demolish those altars. Demolish them. Those high places, destroy them. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Satakayata. Libra kasata kayata, raba kasika yata, reke seke teke te, lipa kasika yarnya kata kanda yada. Hmm. Kalaba kasika yata, raka shata kada chaya. As you drive them out from your portion, as you drive them out from your portion, they will not return again. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said they will not return in the mighty name of Jesus. As I drive them out from my portion, they will not return to my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. As I drive them out and destroy their gods and this demolish their high places, I said they are no more in my life. They are no more in my life. They are no more in my life. I don't know whether you are praying. Because I said there are no more in my life. You should declare it. Because this land, this land, we are not sharing the same land. We are not sharing the same portion. Your portion is your portion. Your portion is not my portion. I cannot come and take your portion. Your portion belongs to you. So as you declare, as you drive them out from your portion, they will not, I said they will not exist again in your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not remain in my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I said there are no more. I said, they are no more. They are no more in my portion. They are no more in my portion. They are no more in my portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is my month of possessing my possession. And I possess my possession because God has already given it unto me. I possess my possession because God has already given it unto me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Let them pray one more prayer. Oh, yes. Let them pray like this. Mm. Every illegal occupant. Every illegal occupant. Occupying my life. Occupying my life. Occupying any part of my occupying life. Any part of my life. I'm aware. Whether I'm aware. I'm unaware. I'm, oh, I'm unaware. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I evict you. 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 From my life. From my life. From my finances. From my finances. From my marriage. From my, marriage. From my education. From my education. From my career. From my children. From my ministry. From my prayer life. In the name of Jesus. In this fasting, I uproot you. I Effect you right now. Right now. Come, out. Come out. 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 Fire. 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 Rata. Sharaba. Rakaya. Salavaya. 
Salaya, Rakaya, Rakaya, Rapataya, Rakatakaya, 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 Rakatakaya. Come out, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, come out in the mighty name of Jesus, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Shatakaya, Lakasekaya, La. I pull you out. La Satakaya, Exatakaya, Exatakaya, La Casatakaya, La Prakatakaya, Rakasatakaya, Rakasatakaya, La Casatakaya, La Padabanaba, Rasataya, Rasataya, Rakatakaya, Asataya, La Casataya, I say fire, I say fire, I say fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Fire consume, fire consume them, consume them. I command them out, command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Consume them, 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 consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, shut up, Katakaya, Raka Shatakataya, Raka Shatakataya, Raka Shatakaya, Raka Shatakaya. Raka Shatakaya, Laka Shatakaya, Laka Shatakaya, Laka Shatakaya, Raka Shatakaya, Laka Shatakaya, Raka Shatakaya, Raka Shatakaya, Raka Shatakaya. I cast them out, 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 out. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. They are out. As we command them, they are out. Because the power and the authority has been given unto us to send them out from our possession, to send them out from our life, to send them out from the life of our children, to send them out from our marriage, to send them out. All the illegal occupants, the authority of God has been released unto us to send them out, to evict them out of our life, out of our finances, out of our marriage, out of the life of our children, and out of our career, out of our ministry. And so shall it be Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer before we go. Say every illegal occupant, every illegal occupant that is causing commotion, that is trying to cause stagnation, that is fighting, shaking our glory access church. We command them out. We command them out. We command them out physically, spiritually. We command them out in the mighty name of Jesus. I say out. Open your mouth and pray. Command them out. Command them out. Eshata kaya, lakasi kaya ta, rapa kaya ta, rakasi kaya ta, lepra kaya ta, ekala kaya ta, lepra kaya ta, rakataya ta. We command them out. 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 In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. For you have said that the church will march forward. Yes, Lord. And the gate of hell will not prevail. Amen. This illegal gate of hell, Fire as we have commanded them, commanded them out, yes, Lord. they are out in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It stands so Amen. and it remains so Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I welcome you all into the month of October. Go and possess your possession. Amen. For God has already given it unto you. Amen. Go 
and possess your possession. Amen. Drive out yes, all the illegal occupants yes, and possess yes, your possession Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You didn't hear me well. I said drive out Amen. all the illegal occupants Amen. and occup that occupying your space. Yes, Lord. Those that occupying your space in finances. Yes, Lord. Occupying your space in your marriage. Yes, Lord. Occupying your space in your career. Yes, Lord. Occupying your space in your spiritual life. Yes, Lord. Command them out. Amen. Command them out. Amen. And possess your possession. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Happy new month. Amen. Happy new month of possession. Thank you. We are already in October here. Amen. And October, October is already looking great. Amen. Yes. It's already great. With the order in our hand, October, we have the order of God in our hand. Amen. October, we have the order of God in our hand. Amen. That whatsoever is not of God, from 1st to 31st, yes, we command them out Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We possess our possession on daily basis Amen. in the month of October Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say we possess our possession Amen. on daily basis Amen. in the month of October Amen. without fear Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For God is with us. Amen. For God is with us. Amen. Somebody shout Emmanuel. 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 Emmanuel, for God is with us. God is with us. God is with us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Thank you for being part of today's service. And I'm here to announce to you that tomorrow is going to be a communion service. Do well to attend that service. Do well to attend that service. I know you will say you will go to your church, but thank God that here we will come up before, even while you're still at night. Do well to attend. As you are part of this fasting, don't miss that communion service. As you are part of this fasting, don't miss that communion service. I say tomorrow is our communion service. As you are part of this fasting, do not miss that service. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Papa, uh, 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 sister, um, Evelyn Doom, mm. yeah, ask her, her, her business, can she, you know, during this Christmas that is approaching, right, mm. can she add um, um, dresses, can she add dresses to what she's doing? Evelyn Doom, right? Yeah. I hope you are hearing from Mama Direct. Or let me ask you, because Mama said I should ask you. Let me follow the instruction listeners. Mama said I should ask you, can you add dresses, clothing into your business? Is it possible? Or if you didn't think of it, perhaps you didn't think of it. I believe for God to ask you this question, he's telling you to add it. Okay. Are you there? I'm there then. Can you add? Yes, I can add, Papa. I can add dresses. I can add a lot of things. But the place is large. She could add dresses. When she add dresses, right? Mm. She should add shoes. They should add shoes. Add dresses and shoes. And shoes. The shoes that you she should add. She should add shoes that have purse. She should look for add shoes that has that, that, that comes purse. shoe and purse, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Add them. Just add some to your business during that period. Okay. I was sitting there. Okay. You kept on coming. Kept on coming to me. 
This is defined. This is defined instruction. This is defined Amen. instruction. It says add to your business. That means God wants to expand you through this means. So go ahead. Amen. And God has been so specific. Even on the shoes, he told you the kind of shoe, the one that comes with pause. With yes. Yes, with pause. Yes, I understand. Mama, I understand that type. <laughs> I know. So that type. They always look very beautiful, beautiful, you know. When women's holy, they will walk elegantly, and you know, it promotes women. <laughs> just, just few. Add you, it. Can, uh, you can approach somebody and show that I have this, this stuff. Okay. Just you go can... ahead and begin it, yes. and God will do the rest. It is a defined instruction, um. and I decree up as you hearken to this voice. Amen. Expansion. Amen. Expansion. Expansion. Amen. Expansion on that basis. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what Amen. To go to Duala. Go to Duala. Go and look for it. Don't sit down here and buy cheap things so, and buy something that does not look responsible. I mean, something that you yeah. know, somebody, one woman like that, driving a big car that's packed. You walk to her and show her. That I have this thing in my shop, come and see. They will get it for you and they'll buy it well. Go take your time to and look for it. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Your undefined instruction comes today. Amen. Our hands come. I want you to say thank you for my our hands come. Thank you for my hour has come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For my hour my has come. Amen. Your hour has come. You will come my back to testify in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. I say you will come back and testify in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Go and possess the land. Go and possess, the, go and possess the market of fashion. Go and Amen. glory. Go and Possess the market of shoes and purse for God Amen. has already given unto you in the Amen. Go Amen. Your possession in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 It is Amen. The of possessing your possession that is yours. Go and possess it. We don't look back. Go and possess Amen. it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Which little hand was that? Yeah. Amen. So that's where we are going to bring it to a close tonight. So tomorrow, make sure you are there when the link sent. Do not allow sleep to, to do what? To rob you from the blessings. You know, keep your lamp burning. Keep your lamp burning. In the month of October, keep your lamp burning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep your lamp burning. So part of to keep your lamp burning is to make sure that sleep do not carry you away and you will be part of that communion service. So see you in on Sunday service. Because I will not see tomorrow. We are already on Sunday here in Japan. So God bless you real good in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.